What's going on guys, Andrew Pillock Hockey here back with another video and we are reviewing the Toronto Maple Leafs fourth game of the season as they win 7-4 against the Dallas Stars. Now if I'm not mistaken, the Dallas Stars did come into this game 2-0-0 so it was a big test for the Leafs. They were 2-1-0, now 3-1-0. A good start to the season. They could have won that Ottawa game. It would have been much better if they did of course but you know they've had a decent start in this game was just another scoring outburst. The last two games I wasn't able to review because I was with family for Thanksgiving uh, to all the Canadians out there. Uh, obviously, this is a little late, but happy Thanksgiving. I tweeted it and put it everywhere, so I think some of you guys seen it on Twitter and stuff. But again, happy Thanksgiving. It's a little late, but still, still mean it. Uh, so 7-4 victory. Uh, if you're new to these videos, please click uh, please click subscribe. Love to have more hockey conversations with you. Join the squad. This is the game for review. If you want to check out my other reviews, you can uh, check those out as well. But I always go through the goalie stats first. I always have everything on my phone. So let's get right into it. Let's waste no time. There was a ton of stuff to talk about in this game. So, of course, the goalie battle was Frederick Anderson for the Toronto Maple Leafs versus ben Bishop, of, ben Bishop of the Dallas Stars, who actually had a pretty decent start to the season. Wasn't as good tonight, but still, we'll get to that. Uh, so, Freddie Anderson, uh, there's 34 shots against, 4 goals against for 30 saves. Not too bad, but he wasn't his greatest again tonight. Uh, ben Bishop had 29 shots against, 6 goals against uh, for 23 saves. So, not his best night either. Both goalies weren't really, you know, that sharp tonight. So... Uh, we'll start off in the first period and the last three games the Toronto Maple Leafs surrendered the first goal of the game so I was like okay guys let's just get off to the right start here and Mitch Marner wasted no time bearing his second of the year very very good less than 10 minutes into the game I was very excited about that a nice top corner shot there's more action in the first period as Alexander Radulov scored as well that was his third of the season it was a bit of a weird goal kind of took a bit of an unlucky bounce I think it went off of Zaitsev but that tied the game at one then just minutes later well less than a minute later pretty much Austin Matthews got a pretty nice feed from Kasperi Kapanen, who really was working hard tonight. Another good uh, line combination there tonight uh, for Kasperi Kapanen. He was looking real good with Matthews. It looked like Matthews had like no room, but he was tapping for tapping the stick, looking for that puck, and he rifled home his sixth of the season already. We're not done there, but he scored top corner. It looked real nice. Uh, the guy just has a lethal shot. So after the first period, it was 2-1 Leafs. Going into the second... I don't want to say it again because I hate singling out players, but Ron Hainsey keeps getting burned and burned and burned and burned. This guy is not a first pairing defenseman. Mike Babcock really needs to switch it up. I like Hainsey. He's a nice guy. He's a decent defenseman, but he keeps getting burned. He doesn't look very good right now. Maybe he's sick. Maybe he's hurt. I'm not sure, but he didn't look very good tonight. They they might have to switch some stuff up, but of course they probably won't because, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it if they're winning games. But still, that first pairing needs to be switched up. What I'm getting to is Tyler Sagan walked in and scored. Uh, that was his third of the season as well. Like, Ben Bishop got an assist on that. Like, that just shows you he just burned past everybody pretty much. So, uh, Tyler Sagan scores, ties up the game. I was not impressed with that. But then, the Leafs power play strikes again. Austin Matthews. Scores again, his second of the game on the power play, his seventh of the season. This guy is lethal. I'm pretty sure if I seen the stat correct, it was that he uh, is one of only six players in NHL history, or sorry, in the last 30 years to have seven goals uh, through his first four games. So very good for him. Uh, awesome, awesome job. And I think he's the first Leaf to have this many goals through this many games since not the 1940s or something like that, I, or the 60s. I can't remember, but I was reading a lot of stats during this game. I was having a lot of fun seeing all these really cool stats stats. Anyways, speak of the devil, Ron Hainsey threw one on net in this period and guess what? It went in the net and I was like, wait, did Hainsey actually just score that? Good for him. Again, I don't want Ron Hainsey to fail. I want this guy to play great. I want him to be a decent defender for the Leafs, not on the first pairing. And he got his first of the season. Good for him. And uh, the Leafs were just starting to pour it on. The Leafs end up, ended up with another power play. And you know what? 
it was time for Johnny T to score. So John Tavares scored on the power play, his fifth of the season. I was like, man, this guy is incredible. I can't believe the Leafs have John Tavares, and he's just lightening up. A hat trick in his last game, and he just kept scoring in this game, and we'll get to that later on as well. And that wasn't the end, because the power play struck again, but this time for the Dallas Stars, and Jamie Benn scored. Now, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure this goal uh, as well kind of ticked me off because actually it was this one. It was a pretty nice play. It was very quick into the power play for Dallas. Ron Hainsey lost his man once again and Ben was just wide open. Ron Hainsey is just losing his guys all the time. He's not looking at the right side for the puck. He just keeps getting beat and I'm I'm really not a fan of it. And just just to throw this out there as well, Frederick Anderson made some really nice saves. He made one on uh, Miro Heiskanen as well in this game. A really nice glove save, but Freddie Anderson is still not looking sharp. There was a couple where I thought he might have had a chance at grabbing, but uh, just some of these goals you couldn't do much about it. A lot of people are saying, oh, that pass and play was super sweet. Sometimes a goalie's got to read those passes and throw a stick out to try to deflect it. I would have liked to have seen him try that there, but again, it was a really nice play, and Dallas was on the board. Going into the third period, the Leafs were up 5-3, and uh, I was actually driving home, so I missed this goal. I was... I had to grab a slice of pizza, even though I'm not supposed to be eating that right now. Um, I'll mention, I think I mentioned this in a live stream, but uh, I actually have a hernia, and you're supposed to uh, keep your diet proper while this is going on, and I have been. It's just I slipped up. I really wanted a slice of pizza. Anyways, that doesn't matter. Uh, I came in, and I seen that Dallas had scored. I'm like, oh, come on. Klingberg scored. His second of the season, it got reviewed. Uh, I believe I, I watched a quick highlight before I was... Uh, you know, about to make this video. Regardless, it was 5-4 Leafs in the third, but then John Tavares a couple minutes later was like, you know what, I'm just going to score again. Uh, a very nice play by Zach Hyman to beat it out. Another ice in Kapanen did that as well uh, for one of the goals. Uh, I believe it was the first Matthews one. Yeah, I think it was the first Matthews goal. Regardless, Kapanen, Brown, and Hyman all were very fast tonight. Leva was good. Like, a lot of the forwards were really good tonight, which was nice to see. Nonetheless, uh, John Tavares scored again, and uh, it was a wraparound, real nice, his sixth of the season, just a beauty night for him as well, and then Morgan Riley, excuse me, flipped one all the way down the ice, and it probably was going to go in, but just to be safe, a lot of people were like, oh, why didn't he just let it in? Sometimes plays like that can get real crazy, and if you just let it go and then somebody somehow stops that puck, you look like a real dummy. So Connor Brown tipped it in for his first of the season. Good for him to get that uh, point. Big nights for a lot of people. Mitch Marner had four points. Uh, Tyler Sagan for Dallas had four points. And uh, Johnny T had two goals. And I think Morgan Riley also had four assists. So a lot of guys had a lot of points tonight. And uh, the Leafs look real good. I believe their next game uh, is against Detroit on Thursday. Let me do a quick check here. Yes, it is. So I'm very excited to watch that game. Again, like I said, if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. Love to have more hockey conversations with you. Join the squad. Tell me what you guys thought about this game. Leafs fans, Dallas fans. What do you guys think? I think the Leafs played pretty good. Dallas played all right. Both goalies weren't very great. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Click the notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next video stream. Check out the links down below. Peace.